Today I'm at Cumberland Falls and even though I'm not walking around, you're still with me as I talk uh, about being an English language teacher. And the reason I'm here at this spot today is because I am here for a writing workshop about writing across the curriculum. And um, I'm at Cumberland Falls because it's a place semi near our university um, and our university is putting on this workshop for us to develop our writing across the curriculum. And the reason I'm shooting this video today is to talk about the importance of professional development. Um, the only times I've ever come to Cumberland Falls have been for either professional development or for bringing students to this place because it's kind of well known in our area. Um, and it gives me a chance every time I come here to reflect on my journey as an English language teacher and because I'm coming here for professional development. And so as I'm sitting in these workshops today and tomorrow, I've been reflecting on the kind of teacher I was when I first started teaching six years ago, but also just the next steps that I want to take and the information I want to glean off of other people. Professional development is so vital because number one, it plugs you into your community of educators and it, ma it makes you a part of a greater community. It makes you feel like you're not alone. And um, also another reason I love professional development is because it totally inspires me and invigorates me to continue on being a teacher. A lot of us know that we come to the end of a semester or the end of a school year and we just feel weighted down or bogged down um, by our own ideas sometimes, repeating them and doing them again, or our textbooks that we have to use again and again. Um, we feel heavy because of our students sometimes. And professional development gives us this um, it ignites a fire under, under us to be creative again and to love what we do again, to be passionate again about what we do. Um, so those are a couple reasons why professional development is so important um, to be attending workshops, to be um, attending webinars, that kind of thing, to really be spicing up what we do every single day. And so I encourage you, even if you are stranded out all by yourself, alone, teaching in some village in, in Africa or if you are part of a university that has that's steeped in tradition and, and has its own way of doing things, go for some more professional development. Find a community to tap into and glean some more, more knowledge for this next season in your teaching career. So um, until I meet you again here at Cumberland Falls, I just want to say you know all the best to you as you continue to develop as a TESOL professional.